Well, for the second time this week, and for the second time in three days, I'm going to be talking about the Tory Leadership Contest again today. Hey guys, welcome back. And, well, we had the first round of the parliamentary votes today to see who would be the next Prime Minister and Conservative Party leader. And it was interesting. We saw three candidates be eliminated. Um, Esther McFay, who managed to get a grand tally of nine out of 313. Um, Mark Harper, who got a slightly better 10. And Andrea Lebson, who got um, an incrementally better 11. The other seven candidates all got through. Rory Stewart with 19, Matt Hancock with 20, Sajid Javid with 23, Dominic Raab with 27, Michael Gove with 37, Jeremy Hunt with 43, and Boris Johnson with 114. Yeah, it's fascinating, it really is. Now, I think the um, next round should be happening on Tuesday. Which, again, is likely to spark some interesting results, because for the next round, they need to get, I believe it's... 33 MPs backing them. Now, what did I think about what happened today? Well, firstly, regardless of what I think of them as people, both the female candidates got eliminated. The Conservatives, the party who are always like, oh, we had two female Prime Ministers, managed to eliminate both of their female candidates from even being in the second round of a uh, kind of debate before ballots, the second round of ballots. Which looks very nice, doesn't it, when they're replacing a female leader? They're like, oh, we're the party that gave us female prime ministers. And yet, they're not willing to entertain the notion of a third. Not that I'm saying their policies are good or that they deserve it. I, I, I think they're both horrible, but... That's not the point there. <laughs> point in terms of descriptive representation. There's not a woman left. But what is fascinating is the amount of support that Boris Johnson got. He got 114, which is... It's not to say it's more than every other candidate could buy, because that would be wrong. It's more than the next three candidates combined though <laughs> which would be um, 107 but I don't really know what's going to happen next there are rumours now that the remaining candidates will come together and try and figure out a unit um, a unitary candidate to kind of unifying one who will represent all kind of aspects that the other candidates have. Now, of course, um, it'll be hard for people to find that, largely because people who say back Rob will be more likely to back Boris afterwards. Potentially about half, I'd say, the people who are backing Saturday Javid as well. I reckon the rest of them could easily go towards a hunt or go. I think the people who are backing Stuart won't. I think Stuart will probably get eliminated in the next round unless they want to carry him forward because he'll be like, oh, Corbyn can't have the underdog story anymore because Stuart has it as well. Which would be an interesting political strategy. But I can foresee... Um, Hancock and Javid standing down before the next round. Which will probably bolster bits, maybe a couple of people over to Rob, but then you have to remember Rob's would be gaining some more who were backing, say, Ledsam and McVeigh. Um, and probably some more of um, Johnson as well. I don't know how much Boris is majority there will increase however it'd be interesting who the unifying candidate would be I believe it would be between 
Gove and Hunt though. And I wouldn't be surprised if it was Gove. Because out of these two, out of these two, out of Michael Gove and Jeremy Hunt, one of them back remain. Now, of course, Hunt himself is actually, like, well known for being a Eurosceptic. I, I'm, I'm, actually, I'll put a link down below. I met the guy um, on the, when he was campaigning for Remain, and he was horrible at campaigning for it. But one of the things that I said was good about it was at least he admitted that he was a skeptic. I think that to be able to send the message that they are a party that's backing Brexit, having come off the back of having to remain backing PMs, I think what the Tories will want from their unity candidate would be someone who was leave. Potentially someone who was incredibly prominent in leave. Which is why I'm saying go. I think the next round we will probably see Stuart and Hancock eliminated. If they're still in the running. I reckon that... Um, Javid and Hancock might withdraw before that point though. Wouldn't be surprised if Rav didn't get it as well. Because at the end of the day you've got what 20 ballots and it might just about push them through but it'd be a tall order and require some people moving away from other candidates which I don't see as particularly likely anyways thank you all so much for watching and I hope to see you again soon bye bye for now